researchers in the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders at East Carolina University have been involved in the study of the nature and treatment of the chronic debilitating disorder of stuttering. In doing so, Drs. Ratstata, Kalinowski, and Stewart have investigated an experimental condition referred to as altered auditory feedback and its effects on the fluency of persons who stutter. Now you see a young man who is a severe stutterer taking part in one of the experiments conducted in the Stuttering Research Laboratory here on ECU's campus. Every satellite has a ready explanation and I can send a set signal. Communication satellite relay radio. Now you will view the young man speaking under the experimental condition of altered auditory feedback that he is receiving through near non-detectable clear plastic earphones. When we were sailed across unknown seas, they imagined that all kinds of mysterious things lived beneath the surface of the ocean. By the 1800s, most of the world's oceans had been mapped, but it was not until the mid-20th century that people began exploring the sea. Cousteau is a pioneer in the field of oceanography. Oceanography is the study of the ocean. As an explorer, researcher, and inventor, he is credited for replacing the mysteries of the sea with knowledge. Okay. How did he do that? How did he do that? That's the question the research team wished to answer. Electrical activity from the brain of stutterers was measured and is shown here. As seen here, the cortex of this stuttering human brain is hyperactive on both the left and right sides, a condition thought to contribute to severe stuttering behavior. Contrast this image with a view of the same patient's brain speaking under conditions altered auditory feedback. As can be readily observed, the electrical fields of the brain were dramatically altered by the experimental condition, allowing the young man to experience complete and normal levels of fluency for the very first time in his life. How did I do that? Given the dramatic effects of this powerful fluency enhancing condition, Dr. Thratstadter, Kalinowski, and Stewart are in the process of making such technology available to those individuals who stutter in eastern North Carolina through technology and program grant development.